there's a very interesting area of uh, new research. I mean, I essentially wanted to convey three points to the students. And the first is the importance of bilateral investment treaties uh, in terms of U.S. Uh, international economic policy. These are in powerful legal instruments uh, that help uh, U.S. companies succeed in global markets. Uh, and yet a lot of people don't know about them and they don't understand the protections that they bring. We also talked about U.S. trade and investment relations with Brazil and India, two large and rapidly growing economies. We've got our share of disputes with each, but we're also making progress and there'll be increasingly important relationships uh, in the years to come. And lastly was the role of Congress in all of this. The areas where Congress has succeeded in coming together on a bipartisan basis to a uh, approved some important trade initiatives in the last couple of years, including free trade agreements, uh, and what it's likely to do in 2013. Through the program, I've been able to see uh, some different aspects of agriculture and kind of a little bit of the larger ecosystem. Uh, so that's really been the biggest takeaway for me, is kind of seeing all the different inputs and different business aspects of agriculture. The Yider program and the Yider scholars who are participating, they're a group of very well-informed students and they're the types of people that we need uh, to occupy positions in government. None of these agreements is easy to negotiate, none negotiates itself. Uh, we need smart, informed, educated people to be out there doing the job for uh, the rest of the U.S. economy. You know, I think w if more people would realize how they're impacted, uh, they'd have a lot more interest in international trade. So I think a program like this really would allow someone to see a little bit behind the scenes of how much it does impact our daily lives.